Well, sir, Mr. and Mrs. Victor Gook are in the living room as we join them at the small house halfway up in the next block now. It's late afternoon, and the master of the menage has just arrived home from the office. And his wife is saying... I received a peachy letter from Lodge headquarters this afternoon. You did? They want to sell me a book. Was the letter addressed to you? Sure. What kind of a book? <laughs> a fine, elegant book I'm supposed to study. What's the name of it? Oh, I don't know. A manual for wives of Sky Brothers and the Sacred Stars, the Milky Way, or something. Oh, where's the letter? I believe I left it on the kitchen sink. Brush still out there? Yeah, studying algebra. Oh, Willie! Bring in that yellow envelope and trash on the sink. Okay. Them Chicago fellas sure got their nerve. Boy. <laughs> Tell me I ought to wash my face nice and clean so my husband won't be ashamed of me. Oh. True. One of the rules to be followed by wives of lodge members. Keep the face and hands clean at all times. Uh. Who are they to insinuate I go around with a dirty face? That stuff cooking on the gas stove okay, ma'am? Why? Making a gurgling sound like it needed water. That's all right. You through studying algebra? For the time being. I may get in a few more licks after supper. Hello, guys. I believe I greeted you in the kitchen a moment ago. Yeah, you did. Then I won't waste any breath with further hellos. <laughs> okay. Here's your letter, ma'am. Thanks. Are you interested in a hand or two of rummy? Uh-uh. Smelly Clark passed an astonishing remark this afternoon. He was sitting on a bench in the gymnasium taking his shoes off, and he noticed a hole in his sock. And he says, fellas, let me call your... Your chum, day. Homer U. McDancy, wrote this elegant book Lodge Headquarters Want to Sell Me. A manual for wives of Sky Brothers in the Sacred Stars of the Milky Way by Homer U. McDancy. Well... He's on your all-star marching team, isn't he, Gus? Yeah. They didn't send you the book itself, did they, kiddo? No, just samples and selections from the different chapters. Here's a list of rules. The one about keeping my face clean is right up on top. To be a true and loyal wife of a sky brother in the sacred stars of the Milky Way, Madam will take pains with the neatness of her person. She will never appear in her husband's presence with soiled hands or dirty face. Huh. Now, I ask you. <laughs> well, it's good advice. Homer, you McDancy must be in the same class with those other idiots. What other idiots? Oh, H.K. Fleaver and Y.Y. Flirch. Robert Slobbert Hink. Uh, read me the letter. I dropped it on the floor. Pick it up, will you, Sonny? Uh -huh. Here's another beautiful rule I'm supposed to follow. Uh -huh. To be a true and loyal wife of a sky brother in the sacred stars of the Milky Way, Madam will refrain from stealing property belonging to others, using coarse language, and engaging in rough street brawls. Well, that is pretty stupid. No, it's fine advice. I'm so used to stealing property belonging to others, though, and using coarse language and engaging in rough street brawls. I don't know whether I could quit now or not. Read that letter, George. Oh. Three dollars and seventy-five cents they want for their dandy book. Mm. I believe I'll send for a dozen. Uh, Mrs. Victor R. Gook. Madam, we take pleasure in announcing a new volume just off the press. A manual for wives of Sky Brothers... In the Sacred Stars of the Milky Way, by Homer U. McDancy. Mr. McDancy is a distinguished author residing in East Brain, Oregon, and his latest work promises to set high standards for books in the practical field. You will find enclosed a leaflet containing excerpts from the manual. We hope, Mrs. Gook, that you will find. Off up 375. Huh? We hope, Mrs. Gook, that you will cough up $3.75. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what it's leading up to. Give me the letter, tomato juice. Huh? Latin also I'm supposed to learn, it says here. <laughs> yeah? To be a true and loyal wife of a sky brother in the sacred stars of the Milky Way, Madam will acquaint herself with a treasury of Latin phrases to be committed to memory and recited at mealtimes. Here are a few typical examples. <laughs> Read them. In hospital, dumb clock, eep, ad agricola, spinach, es, fobo, raymond, beerman, itch, ickle, yamp, libertas, cum, cornucopia, fish. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Read some more. No. Go ahead. At mealtimes, I sit down at the table, but instead of saying, uh, please pass the potatoes, I say, uh, yammer, thump, ad gallia, devisa, trays, parties, hunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a handsome enough book. Is it? 
Mr. McDancy's volume is bound in fine red leather inscribed with gold. It is printed on vellum paper and furnishes a very attractive adornment for the bookcase or library table. Well, it should for all that money. Copies personally autographed by Mr. McDancy, four dollars and a quarter. Charges fifty cents for just writing his name, huh? Mm. Ink must be expensive in Oregon. Copies with a photograph of Mr. McDancy in full large regalia, serving as a French piece, five dollars and ten cents. Mm. Copies with photograph and autograph both, six dollars and a half. Those are the copies I want. A whole gunny sack full of them. Uh. Another nice rule for you to follow, ma'am. What's that? Uh, to be a true and loyal wife of a sky brother in the sacred stars of the Milky Way, madam will see that the home is kept swept and dusted at all times. It is suggested that madam purchase a broom and use it regularly. Good old Homer, you McDancy. He's right up to snuff. Rush, you want to go to the store and buy me a broom? I've always wondered what a broom looks like. <laughs> I'm surprised at this nonsense myself, Sade. Bunch of nitwits must have filled it into large headquarters. I can't understand why they'd go to the expense of publishing any such a dumb book as they describe on that leaflet. Homer, you make dances about as big a nitwit as anybody. He's supposed to be smart. H.K. Fleber wrote me one time and said McDancy was one of the brainiest men he ever met. Taught school as a young fella. Mm. Were you listening to when Mom read the Latin? No. Slap him out some Latin, Mom. Ah. Uh. That's all I had. Is there some Latin in the leaflet? Sure. Oh, it's trash I'm supposed to memorize and then recite to my husband at supper time. Uh. I sit down at the table and instead of saying, would you mind passing the butter, please, Victor? I say, um, Yap Boomer in Pluribus Hunk. In hoc signo veni vidi Webster Stockdale horse, if extracurricular feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised at this nonsense. Homer U. McDancy is a member of the large all-star marching team, too. I can't understand headquarters giving an honor like that to a lame brain. Well, there's plenty of other lame brains on that marching team. Are there? Well, H.K. Fleber. You're not even acquainted with H.K. Fleber. No, I'm not. But he sent me a pair of men's easy slippers at Christmas time addressed to Charlie, Gus, Walter, and Margaret. What did he send you, Willie? A uh, pipe without any stem on it addressed to Hazel, Eddie, Herman, and Fat. H.K. Fleber for you. Name over some more lame brains on the all-star marching team. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows why why Flirch isn't bright. Really? Wears his shoes on the wrong feet. Does that conclude the list of lame brains? Are Robert and Robert Hink on your marching team? Yes. Well, if they're in their right minds, I'll send my undershirt to Detroit, Michigan, parcel post. Do Robert and Slobbert wind up your list of lame brains? Who else is in the outfit? O.X. Bellyman. Don't know anything about him. J.J.J.J. Stunboat. I don't know anything about him either. I, Edson Box, and Harry Fye. Uh-uh. Another nice rule for you to follow, ma'am. Uh-huh. To be a tro- true and loyal wife of a sky brother in the sacred stars of the Milky Way... Madam will at all times be cheerful, truthful, and obedient. She will be on the alert to anticipate her husband's slightest wish. Trust me, Homer. <laughs> oh, sure. Are you going someplace? I could use her for home. I told him I might drop around for a game or two of indoor horseshoe before supper. Mm. What time are we eating? Oh, I think my things will be ready by six. Okay. Better be back a little before then to be on the safe side, though. Okay. Mm, movie show might be nice this evening. Yeah. What's on? Gloria Golden and Four Fisted Frank Fuddleman. Name of the picture? Gazing into your eyes like this is heaven, minor league assistant umpire Drake. Supposed to be good. According to the paper. Well, we we'll see what your father says. Oh. Here, take this letter and leave it. Don't want him? No. Garbage bucket? Oh, garbage bucket. Which concludes another brief interlude at the small house halfway up in the next block.